What is up guys? Here in the shop, it's a new day and today we're doing front end toe settings. You wanna learn how to do it? Watch us do it. What's playing tonight? So here's how we're gonna start. Brian's got this fancy tool here, and this is basically like a, you see the body shop guys use these, go point to point, and it tells you kind of, uh, you know, as long as that your stuff's lined up. You know, you pick a point, got a point and a point. Fancy little slider tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull a measurement off of this center link here. Grease zerk, which down here, grease zerk to grease zerk. We're gonna take that measurement, and then we're going to measure from the idler arm to the center of the pitman arm. And we got to make sure that's all true. So Brian's going to jump down there. We're going to see if it's true. Because if they ain't, I'll show you how to adjust it and get it right. But this is your starting point for your toe. So just follow along with us and you'll learn how to do this stuff. You mean tighten that? Yes, can. All right. Looks as if we are off. Okay. So, I guess. this had spacers in it right here. So we're gonna have to take this off and get these, I don't know, I call it 3 16 or so worth of spacers, shove this back in because between here and here is too short. And you have, like I said, we need to get the same measurement on both. So let me peel that off and we'll come back and we'll continue the toe setting. Like Captain Insano. Yeah. Captain Caveman. Hey, I fell just right where I needed it. Oh, keep it right there. I'll get that off. So, see these spacers? Just two washers welded together. I don't think we shall need them. Okay, I got that done. Nothing to it. Pull our measurement again. See where we're at. That's center. Pretty much it. Really close. Pull this one again. I'd say that's pretty much dead nest, bud. Close enough. Close, we're gonna get it. Okay. <clears throat> close, you're gonna get it. What he means is, he's a, used to be, he's a retired Quality guy. No. He talking about what was that? About five thousands? <laughs> <laughs> Fractions. So um so here's what happens. Okay, say say that was off as you know, eighth of an inch or something. And this was too narrow still. The only thing you can do then is to zip down the sides of both sides of this uh idler mount and you'd have to push that back and re-weld it back in. Or if it's grinding it in or whatever. Right. Whatever you gotta do to get this in. Beat it with a hammer if you want to, I guess. Um or you could space it out to get it, you know, if it's too wide in here, you know, then you'd be good. So that would be your first step in starting this toe deal. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna exit. We're gonna go from here to back here on the center link, and from the steering box or pitman arm to this here green start. Let's check that. Hold you up over here. Right in the middle. I'm going to go back here to this one. Pick it up. That is it. Right that there. is it. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to come up here close as we can get to the steering shaft which for me is probably gonna be about right here. And we're gonna lock some vice grips on there so that can't move. 
Okay, I got that locked. All right, so we got two vice grips in here, locking that shaft in. That shaft cannot go anywhere now. Now we verified that this is all square. It's X'd. It's completely square. So we're going to set everything off of that right there. And you can already tell just by looking at this. I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but this wheel here is turned that way just a little bit. Now this one's going to be a little bit more easy to see. You can tell that one is definitely that way. So this is what we're going to start with. Our next deal here we're going to do is... Uh, your lower control arm bolt, your front pivot point on your lower control arm. We're gonna plumb bob off of that. Center line of that, straight down to the ground, put us a mark, both sides. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got our marks. If you can see right there, we've got a little Sharpie dot. And over here, we've got a Sharpie dot right there by 18. So we line that up and then we come across here with our Sharpie, it made us a line. One on each side, one over there, and one right there, you can see right there. The next thing we're gonna do, we got that going, get our sheetrock square, lay that in there. Wherever he likes it. You good? Mm -hmm. And we'll Make us a line going through here. And bring it back a little bit and lay it you know, flip it over. Go the other way. We'll get that lined up. About right there. And we'll come up this way a little bit. We'll come all the way back there. Okay, so now we got that line. We'll do the same over here. Good. I'm not a, I'm not a marking stuff. Put that where he likes it. Yeah, marking fluid. Yep. I'm not a marking fluid, boys. Hang on a minute. I gotta shake my sharpie up. All right. There we go. We got that line going. So now. We got a couple lines. We'll take take whatever you got. What I got, I got this piece of aluminum. I know it's square. I can take and lay it right here on this line and pull me a measurement. Then what you do is you take your tape measure. I got these slots right here in the old Hammond plates. And I can pull this. And it is nine and three sixteenths on the front. The back, I can tell you already, it's going to be shorter, eight inches on the money. So that tells you right there that this tire is towed in on the front, inch and three sixteenths. So all we got to do here, bust this loose, and we'll push this out. However you want to do it. You want to make it straight up. If you want to put a little bit of toe this way. However you guys want to do it. That's up to you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bust this loose. Shove that out and take a new measurement. Alright. We got there eight and three quarter. Mm -hmm. gonna check the back. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. So right now we're a quarter inch towed in. So we'll turn this. You watch that. I'll move just a little bit. Doesn't take much. Looks like eight and eleven sixteenths. Let's see. Nine sixteenths. So right now we're an eighth inch out. Right? An eighth inch out. Let me go back the other way just a little. Try it out. Five eighths. Five eighths. Straight up right there? Yep. All right, so we got that side. We're, we're putting ours straight up right here. So from here on both front and back, pulling off the Hammond plates, we've got the same measurement. So let's we'll move over to the other side and put our toe out over on that side. 
What are you trying to say? So that's the joy of using these plates right here. You ain't gonna do this without these, are you? No. Not even a little bit. Yeah. A whole bunch? Yeah, ten and an eighth and eight and a quarter. Yeah, your way out. Ten and an eighth and eight and a quarter? That's a an inch and a bunch. Seven eighths. Throw out an inch and seven eighths here. Yeah, we were a little off, boys. So break this loose. We'll get to adjusting her again. Give me a sec. So here's our next predicament. I can't run the high in anymore. It's out of threads in this. And this side is already far as it can go. Can't go no more. So we're either gonna have to cut about a quarter inch out of this and hope it brings it around enough, which I, it's basically gonna bring it in about a quarter, right? Cause it's only one side. Or we're gonna have to get us a shorter tie rod. So, we got some thinking to do. Maybe we're going to do some ciphering, right? Got to do some major ciphering. Yeah, we're gonna have to. This is all part of it when you're getting everything the way you want it. You got to do some ciphering. So, we're going to cipher away, and uh, when we get her figured out, we'll come back and holler at you. All right, this is the perfect scenario to show you guys what not to do. So, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves whenever we pulled these lines. And, uh... So here's what happened. If you can, or you can either trust me or you can, you can try to look at this. But this this line we drew through here, where you got the uh, the, the uh, piece of metal lay in there, is not straight with the car. All right, it's actually turning in like this versus the actual chassis. And that side over there, what are you doing? Relaxing. Well, yep. I'm going to race. Yeah, I know. I'm going to race too. Anyway, so this is a, a problem on your cars with the stub that's turned. Okay, so we're going to go off the rear back here and we're going to pull us a new measurement and bring the line this way. So there you go. Square stub cars, you can do that, what I just showed you. But with the uh, turn stubs, you can't do that. So we're gonna go back there and get us a new line and we'll regroup and see what we got. All right, after about a month full of Sundays, wouldn't you say, probably about three weeks later? Yep, <laughs> at least three weeks. He said at least three weeks. That's eh, not really three weeks, but uh, many, many minutes later. Uh, we, we had to figure out how to square this up. So we came up with the best solution for us. And uh, I don't wanna ruin you guys on doing something half-assed so i'm not going to elaborate on it but anyway we finally got the front end set up okay so this one here is square with the world against the chassis and we towed ours out our manufacturer says three eighths of an inch so this is towed out three eighths of an inch and uh yeah it didn't really help you out a lot there but if it weren't for these setup plates we wouldn't be able to do none of it because we had to basically square everything off of this setup plate right here and pull from that side. So that's gonna do it for just the toe. But just to recap, you square everything up here. Remember our fancy little tool we made? You can use a tape measure. Front of your idle arm to your steering box, the front of it, and then grease zerk on the uh, center link, grease zerk, grease zerk. Make sure they are the same, and then you exit. Go across. You lock your steering shaft down, square it up off the front end off your lower control arm bolts if you have a uh, square stub car. If yours is turned, then you'll have to get a hold of your manufacturer and do it, or get very thoughtful, right, in, a, in the process of kind of how we did it. But, so, yeah, I'm kind of leaving you high and dry. Didn't show you exactly how we did it, but I don't want you guys following the same footsteps I did. Either way, get it you hold of your chassis manufacturer. He will know where he picks up off center off these. So I hope that helped you a little bit. Just enough to get you in trouble, maybe. So that will be it for this one. It's going to be a short and sweet one. But we'll do many, many more videos with these Hammond setup plates. And we also got a couple other things from uh, Mr. Dave himself that are going to help us 
help you guys maybe. So until next time, Tim and Brian saying keep between the ditches here at the old number seven garage.